Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Amnesia, A Machine for Pigs. My name is Razor Brand. So, in the last episode, we went ahead and did some stuff here and there. We got to see the demon pig for the first time in forever. And it was quite beautiful. I didn't die from a demon pig. Which is kind of interesting. I didn't die from him. But you know what? Since I didn't die from him, they're not really that scary. I mean, they're still scary because they're demon pigs. But also, they can't kill me. Apparently, I'm immune to these sons of bitches. So, we got ourselves on an elevator in the, la the very end of the last episode. Something smashed us in. We fell down, I believe, a couple floors. Now, we're way down in the lovely pits of God knows what. And now we're here. So, hello, beautiful. All right, hello. Quickly, Master, find the entrance nearby. The children weep in the darkness, and the flood waters continue to rise. Okay. I'll find the entrance, I guess. I guess I'll find said it. Oh, my goodness. Are we having an appointment today? Am I going to check something? Ridiculously observant, we shall see. July 15th, 1899. In order to facilitate assimilation of tissue groups, a compound is required where the cells were not bond. Disposal of non bonded subjects must be immediate in using incineration, or we risk continuous animation without form. This is unpleasant. A simple compound of one part Bredenberg infusion vitae to one part Oregon monod dispero fluid is sufficient. This can then be administered intravenously to subjects following reassembly to maintain bonding. The compound is unstable and highly light reactive. Once in the body, the Schumann lab can be used to activate the compound but outside the body is highly corrosive. It can even destroy small quantities of metal. All right, well, that's very interesting. All right, well, I did not need to know more about the science of things like that. Oh, good, it's locked. I don't need to unlock it. Good, one last thing for me to worry about while I am running for my life in this lovely game. Alright, let's see. Let's have a look-see. Oh, is there something down here? Oh, I don't know. Well, this is beautiful. This is pretty. Is this some kind of compartment I need to turn on? Wow, it's not always. Low temperature storage. Okay. Holding pens. Alright, wow. Let's start with the low temperature. I think that's going to be something fun. Let's have ourselves some fun, and let's walk down here and see what could befall us. Oh my god! Oh. Uh, we got to see him up close. Wow! Like I said, you're not that scary. Alright, hold on. Alright. Something on this is causing it to be... Oh, wait a minute. Hello. Maybe if I turn this off? Oh, I got something. Interesting. Alright, well, let me read this note real quick. A warning! Uh-oh! Inflamed it is, burning it does, bleeding from each hole for and aft, leaking down my legs, blood and excrement, my lungs are in my vomit. I pass clots of my organs now unto the filthy stone. Drink this, he says, and I did drink it. I did do that. Because of the changes, they ripple inner me. My teeth sneeze out and scatter like mice in the dark. I cannot find them all, gathered what I can, push them back into my grave crumbs with my fingers but the nails are all weepy and full now. Drink it he says. It'll help the running of the fever. But not all can take the change on the other table. A beast under the blanket. I never wanted to see under that but he drank it too. He passed it under the blanket and I heard it drink. Dear God almighty how can a man shit so much blood and still live? 
You know, that is a, another good question. How can a man shit on so many excruciating levels and then still be able to walk out of here alive? Oh, I see. There we go. All right, wow. Did that do it? Yeah, let's try it again. Come on. Put, put, put it in the thing! Fine, you bitch. Where you go? Where'd the thing go? Where did the thing go? Oh my gosh, did I lose it? Oh, I lost it. Oh, it's right here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's see. Come on, in the pipes. <clears throat> Doink. Oh, alright. Well, I guess since I did it the first time, I don't need to do it again. Oh. Was there a door here? I don't recall there being a door. Was there a door here? Alright, I guess. Hello? I don't remember being a... Good God. Stop it! I'm flicking away from the lights! Stop it! I don't need this. Ah! It's just noises. It's just noises. I hear nothing. I hear nothing. He got angry at me. Oh, he was right behind me, and I did. <laughs> that demon pig was right behind me, but little did I know that. Oh, I was just strutting down the hallway. Was there a door there? And <laughs> came at me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Man, he got me so good. Wow. Ho, 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 ho. All right. It fell onto his hands and they eroded in front of me. All right. Well, I think to we're stumps. done with that area. To stumps. Next huh. time we will use an equal mix of infusion vita and orgone disperser. No, no, just take him out. You could dump him in the river for all I care. Yeah, sure, just dump him. Let him drown. All right, cool. Holding pens. Let's go see what fun this has for us. Yay! Yay! Okay. All right, so two options. I hear you. I hear you. You're making lots of noise, my dude. I don't like the narrow hallways that you have here. Silence, do not startle. Oh, okay, so do not startle the pig. Alright, yeah, well, don't startle the demon pig that could come kill us, you know. He can get mad. Alright, well. Wait a minute, wasn't this where we got out? Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, there's a no here. August 20th, 1899. Took delivery of another batch of imbeciles today. They are the sorriest specimens of humanity I've ever seen. No one asks where they go to. The authorities of Bedlam are simply happy to reduce the overcrowding and their teeming, stinking halls. We measure their skulls, check their teeth. We give them laudanum to pacify them. They wait in line, livestock. Dull brown eyes and filthy skin. Many soil themselves as they wait. Into the manipulator they file in silence. I hear the hissing of gas. I hear the dog groaning as teeth are removed, as bones are reset. I hear the pig screaming. We have removed all the mirrors after the process. It is the reflections that trouble them the most. Afterwards, when they sleep, I walk amongst them, my children. I whisper to their dreams, you are my children now. I have children once again, and your forms, imperfect, will be the engines to make my own blood flow again well that is extremely disturbing if I'm picturing that correctly that is extremely disturbing 
Oh my god, that is extremely disturbing. Oh, it's a teddy bear. Oh, okay, this teddy bear's got some importance. Let's take it with us. I think this teddy bear may be ha Over there, place it in the corner. What? You think I speak Prussian? Do I look like an inbred hawk, sir? Who gives a damn what it contains? Just set it down carefully and leave me be. I have your teddy bear, Mr. Pig. I have your teddy bear. Okay. I fight. You want it in a corner? Like, okay, well, which corner? You said set it in a corner, right? Which corner are you preferring to? Ow. Oh. Alright, that's a pig. That's the right way. And... I have a tiny bear! Do you see the timer? Ta -da! He does not like me. He scratched me a good one. He got me real good. He tried to shove it up in the air in the ass. He tried to really get up in there. And I didn't let him. Thank God. Alright, well I need to find another way it looks like. So we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go this way. Good, the door is locked. One less thing to worry about. Alright. Ah, see. Alright, so we have to do this again. Alright, so we need to find another thing of a jig. Will you stop flickering? I get it. He's nearby. Chill the fuck out. I get it. Mr. Demonic Pig is nearby. He didn't take the teddy bear that I gave him. Motherfucker. So, guess what? Now we're here. Oh! Hello, little boy! Come back! Don't... You left your teddy bear. You left the teddy bear. You left the teddy bear. Do you want the teddy bear? I'll bring the teddy. I'll, I'll bring the teddy bear, I guess. Don't do that, please. Don't do that. No. Stop it! I know he's nearby. I have the teddy bear. All right, there's a note. Hold on. Excuse me. August 4th, 1898. More experiments with compound X. Took the dug and injected it with styrgnine. Whatever the fuck. After the expected convulsions and spasming, it died just after midnight. I immersed the body in a large tank of compound X and introduced an alternating current via induction coil for a period of three and a half minutes. Partial return was induced, however, damage incurred prior to death was retained upon revival, meaning the dog contained in the acute state of strike nine, whatever the fuck, poisoning until I put a bullet in its skull, but drowning? Perhaps? Yes. It is after all known to be the kindest of suicides. If one were to drown, replacing the fluid in the lungs with compound X should theoretically be perfectly possible as a revival method. I just read a bunch of bullshit from that statement. I'm gonna just be really clear on that. Alright, can I grab the teddy bear? Thank you. All right, so I made one big, oh. Oh, there's canisters right there. All right, I'm gonna put the titty bear, oh. There was a door here, though. All right, well, if this game really likes to fuck with the mine, you're doing a quite hell of a good job of it. All right, well, excuse me. Boink, all right. All right, well, take that. Yep, send my lovely love letters to wherever the fuck that's going. And let's go this way. Let's go this way. 
Oh, hey, excuse me. Just gonna crawl down here with this teddy bear for Mr. Demonic Pig so that he can love me so much. He loves me, he loves me. He wants this teddy bear. He loves me so, so much. Oh, I'm just gonna do Okay, let's just drop down. Doink. Oh. Cool. Alright, well. If we did the... The t oh, I oh, I see. Oh, boink. All right, and... Oh, I see. Got it. So we need one more. Because we got two, but apparently there's a third. Hello. Let me get my teddy bear just so I know this is good. Hang it. Okay, that didn't seem to work. Again, I probably need the third one, so. If I had to guess, it's gotta be right. So we already got it from the two, right? So that's already been taken care of. Wait a minute. These stairs, they lead back upstairs, right? Maybe there's one up here? There's gotta be one up here. I'm not taking the teddy bear. The teddy bear can stay down there. Maybe there was one in here all along and I just didn't grab it because I'm a, an idiot. What else, what else is new? What else is new with me? Hmm. Okay, well, I'm just gonna leave the light there. Okay, so some. Lovely pictures all over the round. Yes, okay. Is there anything in the secret compartment? That's right, that's locked. For good measure, that is locked. Bless the heavens about that. All right, well, if I have to guess. Okay, thank, oh yeah, that's right. He came a march in that way and we didn't, he didn't want us in there. So, I mean, that's good. Oh. Wait a minute, these are filled with stuff. Oh, wait a minute, there's three of them. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hmm. Am I supposed to grab them? Oh. Where does this go? Does it go in his thing upstairs? Hold on. Does this go somewhere up here? Hold on, I'm figuring things out. I'm figuring things out, hold on. All right, well, there doesn't seem to be a place for us to put this. So, where? I just don't get where you want me to put this. Him. Alright, let me see what happens if I take them all out. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Can I take this one out? No. What the hell? Why? So what's so special about this one? This special one. Can I just shove it all in the door? No, that's not gonna, that's not gonna work. That's stupid. Why would that work, you dip? Still locked. Alright, still it's still locked. Ow! Hold on, I'll find a way. I mean there is up there. But do I feel like getting back up there? See, that's the question. I just don't have the answer to. Mother of God! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Where am I? Okay, clearly this is where I need to be. But where exactly does this need to go? I'm just gonna literally shove this all around your science experiment while I figure this out. Really? Oh! That did it. 
Okay, so then maybe the light. <gasps> oh. Sheesh. Interesting. Oh, fascinating. Don't make my head woozy, please. Interesting. Don't, it, faster, faster. Don't yell at me. I'm working on it. I had to figure out how to solve that puzzle. All right, let's see. Down the ladder. Oh my gosh. It's so slow and miraculous. Oh, do I? Okay. Guess I'm dropping. This leaking world. All these nails and no wood. What kind of a carpenter are you? That figure cannot help but opens its arms to you. Where is the strength in that? Okay. So what are you implying here? I'm just kind of curious. What are you implying? in here. Eh. Now, I will say these puzzles are starting to get more and more elaborate, and I'm starting to like that, because the puzzles in the beginning were kind of... That's not good sounds. That's not good sounds at all. That's not good sounds at all. That's not good sounds at all. Oh my god. Is that a skeleton? Oh, for the love of God! Who died down here? Isn't it dangerous allowing this filthy discharge to collect so close to the core? Ah! We can use the flow to drive the turbines. There will always be a torrent of excreta flooding through these tunnels. We can use this to supplement the steam production and ensure constancy. Dear God, the stench! This fecal matter is the true product of the age. You are absolutely disturbing if you really think that fecal matter is the answer to everything. Are you telling me that there's something in the water? Because if so, hell to the no. I'm not dealing with that. I'm not dealing with something being in the water. All right, well, I think this is my way, so hold, hold the phone. I hear you. I thought I would never be more scared of a pig than ever before. Okay. I like the left. <gasps> you have a weird ass. Can I just point that out? You have a very weird ass. Why is it so small? Ugh. Alright, well... Alright, well. Sluice Gate 2? Oh no. No, I don't want. No. No. I don't want to go in the water. No. No. Do I have to? Oh no. You hear that? Oh, there's something in there. Oh, fucking Christ. Alright. Demon fish. Oh, it's a demon fish. Okay. It's <laughs> just a warm up. I don't like how fast that goes. 
Okay, maybe there's something else I gotta do first. If I have to be real here. There's gotta be something else I gotta do first. There just has to be. By maybe looking to, oh, wait a minute. <gasps> We're that far under? What the hell, did we go through? Oh, I guess we went through all of that. I guess so, all right. Cool beans, August 1st, 1899. Several of the older forms have breached the containment arena and escaped into the sewers. They remind me of my limitations. There is no calm in I, and I am no Elihu, at least not quite yet. It is the heat generated from keeping the doorway between open that is to blame. We cannot simply pack them about what cool it with coolant as we do at the center of where the doorway is the later versions are kept safe by the freezing temperature of those towers up here where the air is hot and fitted fetid they become overheated and the dually tears them asunder as the other place flies from their cells and their vitae splinters they live sporadically torn from one world to the other and back again violent unpredictable bursts for a few seconds, they are creatures of this world. Then they are torn away and cease to have physical form. This vicious ripping back and forth between worlds has driven them quite insane. I have ordered the affected area sealed and will not allow my loyal workers to enter. These are damned places now. The abode of failed experiments. Ghosts of fear and spite. Cool. Um, there's a phone here. Do you want me to not pick up the phone or no? All right, let me see. It's one and two. Can I do something over here? Maybe. Ah, yes. All right, well, I did a thing. Sorry. Fast, Amandus. Drain the waters. Open the way to the bilge pumps. We are waiting for you. Okay, I'll be there soon, sweet pea. I'll be there soon. Ah, uh, there's still water here. All right, well. I can't go there because I need to drain this. So I guess I have to go back. If I have to guess, I have to go back. Yes. <clears throat> we'll go with that. I'm gonna go with that assumption. Oh yes, take me down here. Oh. No. No. Okay. I heard stem stomps. You don't scare me! Stem stopping fuck. All right, let me just see. Ah, gate one, yes, hello. Okay, I've opened you, yes. Okay, it's just the water, don't freak out. It's just the water. He likes to do that. The speedy fish likes to do that, whatever the fuck I called it. I don't know what the fuck I called it. <laughs> the fish likes to do such things. Don't mind it. All right, let me just see what's in here. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Oh, a lovely note. October 22nd, 1899. Naturally, once bled, the product must be scalded, dehad, and scraped ready for gambroiling and visceration. For this, we pass them through the steam reservoir, which is kept at constant temperature by passing excess high-pressure venting from the engines via the boiler and series of large copper pipes into a stone chamber just below the workhouse. At the center of the machine, there is a component that must be kept at a consistently low temperature, which controls operations of the processing of product throughout the system. Alongside this, refrigeration is the utmost importance in retaining product quality and this also requires heat to be removed from certain areas of the machine. Two problems are therefore combined into a single solution, the removal of heat from some areas and the requirements for increased heat in others. 
Conducting panels draw heat using the principles of convection regulated by the boiler and sending freezing air along one set of pipes in one direction and superheated vapors in another. That's quite adorable. Yeah, that's quite something. All right, well, let me just continue my way through here. I see some stairs. As we're going through gate number one. And hopefully in here, is that Mr. Fishy Foo? Is that Mr. Fishy Foo? Is that Mr. Fishy Foo? Let's hope that that's the case. Huh. All right, well, as much as I would like to continue onward, I'm gonna actually go ahead and end this episode here. Sorry to make this episode short, but I just feel like that this is a good place to stop. We're just we're in the sewers. I feel like something's going to come at me soon. And I want to save all that in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Amnesia, A Machine for Pigs. Please feel free to leave a like if you liked what you saw. Feel free to ring those bells. And let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as for right now, this has been Raisin Brand. Thank you so much once again for watching this episode of Amnesia, A Machine for Pigs. And I shall see you in the next video.